What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Stranded Deep. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we out for a little while and continue to explore our little rainy home. I don't know how we're doing on stats right now. We're good on stats right now. Stats are looking solid. It's a bit of a terrible day right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Like this weather is subpar. Uh, this weather could definitely be better. How hot is it right now? It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Weak. Super weak. Okay. So it's going to get a little bit chilly before it gets better. Um, I would say sleeping is probably the best idea right now. I just don't want to deal with this weather. Like, if we can get up tomorrow and have, like, a more pleasant day and I can not have a cold and, like, pneumonia and all kinds of other nonsense. Oh, we're back up to 82 degrees now. Good to know. Good to know. Paddle, no, you need to stay with me, Paddle. Paddle, you need to stay with me. Uh, we got an empty coconut drink, an empty coconut drink. There's a coconut right there. Meh. Meh. Perfect. We are coconut dranked up. Glug. Drop. How hungry am I right now? Am I hungry enough to, like, justify? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. As a treat, I'm going to allow us to smack this coconut until we feel better. So there's some coconut food right there. Some good old-fashioned coconut food. Tummy's looking a little bit better. We can always track down some more coconuts if we really need them. Palm tree up there. We got any palm trees around that are like smaller? Maybe a little bit easier to get after? Any uh, coconuts on there? No coconuts? Well, damn. I've got the lime, but I don't have the coconut, so now I can't drink it all up. Lame. Super lame. We got more cloth over here. I'll probably take that too. I don't know how much cloth I need, but I would assume probably a bit is the right answer to that question. Now, we already went up on that rig over there, and we basically picked up everything we possibly could trying to get our hands on it. I don't know if it's a better idea right now just to, like, fall back to where we came from. Like, we have lashings and stuff. I should probably go through my list and figure out what I want to craft next in order to make this all a little bit easier. Any coconuts around here? I don't see any more coconuts. Yeah... We may not have the food rig. Wait, did I get that rig over there? Did I get this rig over here? Hold on. I thought I already got that rig, but that rig looks... There's two of them. And when there's two rigs, you just don't know. You just don't know. Which is the one... See, one of these rigs had a bunch of barrels on it, so we could start to build our own raft. As far as making, like, a raft base goes... Let's see here. We've got a stone tool. We've got lashings. We got campfire, we got building over here, vehicles. There we go. So we've got a driftwood foundation. So like we can make wooden raft bases if we can get enough sticks and lashings. Hmm. What about a sail? How hard is it to make a sail? A sail is actually pretty easy to make. Hmm. And a rudder so that we can steer better. Interesting. I'm kind of torn, so I don't know if I want to start out here and just make, like, a bunch of raft parts so we can be, like, done with the, uh, I didn't really want to do that. There we go. Like, I don't know if I want to make the raft parts so that we can get away from the big orange raft that we've been kind of cruising around on right now. Or... See, so what we can do is we can dedicate now, and we can make ourselves a super badass raft. I don't know if we have enough lashings in order to do that. We have two lashings, which means we can make two parts for a raft. That's probably not going to be enough. There haven't really been a lot of, like, yucca plants over here. Like, I, I went through some of the yucca, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I suppose we can pace around for a minute and see if we can find another yucca up in here or something. But I doubt it. I have a strong feeling that we're, got, we're not going to find that. What is this over here? A mineable resource. Okay. So is this the... This is the boat with the barrels. Alright, so we've done the boat with the barrels. It's the other boat that we haven't done. But with barrels and lashings, we could make a start over here. I mean, the other option is that we just mark this location and we come back later when we're a little bit better stocked up on the things we need in order to survive. So those are really the two things that we're facing off against right now. I don't really care which one we do. But let's go check out this boat first and foremost. Like, this boat over here seems like this might be the magic boat that gives us the stuff that we need in order to survive. Oh, never mind. It's the same boat. It's just a small island. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, I think we should probably just grab what we have and run off back to somewhere else. I think that's a pretty good plan. 
Now, can I stow this box over here? If I can stow this box in my backpack over here, we can ship this back. What was in there? Just a bunch of boat parts. And if I, like, go right there, I can actually, like, I can fit a box in my backpack. Nice. Okay. Well, that's acceptable. Um, let's go... Got to kind of pick and choose what I want to bring back with me right now. Got the electrical part. I think that's probably important. Like, the electrical part is probably a good plan. Let's take the electrical part, and we have space for one more thing. One more object, as it were. We're also very thirsty. Should probably come up with a solar still or something at some point. Uh, let me get my paddle out real fast. And I think our home is that island over there. Pretty sure that's the one we were chilling on. I try to make every island, like, kind of hospitable. Yeah, let's get on the raft over here. And then, where's my anchor at? Let's retrieve the sea anchor. With our storage, I've got a compass. I've got some rations. Okay, we'll deal with that when we get back home then. But I think... I think that was our home right there. I think. I mean, I did lay down some sticks. I guess we can go look at that. Let's go see where I laid down the sticks at and see if those point us back home, the place where we're supposed to go. Going back home on the road. Going back home on the raft. Yeah. Okay, so that one is our home right there. Cool. Let's head on back. Home again, home again. We've made it back over here. Uh, I'm probably just going to dump off the stuff over here and maybe see if the lashings have regrown on this side. If the lashings have regrown, uh, let me... Yeah, I'm fine with not operating the raft anymore. It's too shallow to deploy here. Damn it, dude. That's so finicky. They should just let you deploy it anywhere. <laughs> like, in all honesty. Um, I don't... I'm not a huge fan of the new boat controls. I'll be honest with you. I've played this game a lot over the last couple of years. The new boat controls, like, eh. I kind of felt like they were fine before. Like, I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't want to, like complain about a good thing. Can I finally put down my anchor? There we go. Alright, so the anchor's down. Hopefully I don't get eaten by a shark. Like, not being able to anchor close to shore is kind of terrifying because there are sharks around. And so, honestly, maybe I could just beach it. I don't know. Like, I don't know how easy it's going to be to unbeach this thing once we beach it, but... Alright, so what do I have saved up here? I've got electrical parts. I've got a hammer. I've got some leather. I've got... What else do I have? i got a yucca cutting right there. Oh, it's food? I can actually eat it? Okay. we got some cooked small meats over on this side. Let's dump off all of our goodies real fast. Oh, the food goes bad now. Oh, that's a new mechanic. Okay. Well, that's no good. That's a problem. Now, we got another wood crate over here, so we can just dump that right there. I don't even care. And then we can take this, and we can throw it over here with the other cloth. Just a little bit of organization. Just a little bit of the old organization. There we go. So we're organized. We're back at base. We've got some corrugated scrap. That's probably a good thing. Uh, let me find some food. Oh, yay. We've got more lashings. Yeah. Lashings for me. All right. So let me grab some of this stuff right here. I think this was the only one on our little starting island, though. I would like that coconut. Let's take that coconut real fast because I think that's going to be super important for us staying alive. Just, it's important to know I bring this up every time we play this game, so I got to do my bog standard warning. Don't eat too much coconut. You'll get diarrhea and you'll die. All right? Coconut is good for, like, here and there. But if you have too much coconut, it's not good for you. Like, it, it'll, it'll keep you hydrated for a little bit, for sure. Absolutely. But, like, one too many coconuts and wah, wah, you poop yourself to death. That's just the way it goes. It's just the way the universe works. Um, climbing the tree seems like a really bad idea. Breaking your leg is something you sort of want to avoid in survival situations. If at all, maybe I can climb this one. I would like that coconut right there. I'll take that. We'll climb back down, and we just got to get ourselves... Ooh, yay, little coconut buddies. All right, we got coconut buddies. All right, let's take this back to base. We got to squirrel this back away. Coconuts, come with me. Come with me, coconuts. Yes, the mighty coconut. C 
Consider the coconut hoo ha. Consider its leaves. Consider the coconut. It's all we need. All right, so we'll bang those out real fast to work on our hydration for a minute. Coconut drank. Coconut drank. I need a few more coconut dranks. Coconut, you must be sacrificed for the cause. All right, a couple more coconut drinks here. Bow. And then we'll drop our... Oh, no! Apparently, I got diarrhea. I'm never eating that again. Oh, dude, it gave me diarrhea. They actually added it to the game. They must have watched my videos. No! All right, that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, we may have overdone it with the coconuts a little bit. And now we're dehydrated and we're probably going to die. Can I, can I drink this one? Uh, I'm going to drink that one right there. And let's focus on the things we can focus on for right now. Like eating delicious food, maybe. Maybe that'll help. No! Alright, so we've run into issues. Um, I have officially pooped myself to death. I didn't know that that was a mechanic. I didn't know that that was a thing that they added to the game. And so now I feel very, very foolish. Uh, in order to get water, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't really know how to boil off water. Like, maybe... Maybe I can take the coconut flask. And maybe I can fill it with seawater, maybe? Anything? Anything? Did that fill it with water? A dehusked coconut. No, that's not going to help. Uh, we got issues. We got issues right now. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, well. I mean, I guess we can ride the coconut pony again and just hope that it's okay. I mean, what other option do we have, right? What other option do we have? That at least got us settled a little bit. Our tummy isn't quite so busted up, so that's good. Alright, so let's keep it to two coconuts. Alright. No more coconut pooping. We've got a little bit of water in our system. We also have lashings. So, like, I would like to, yeah, just quick craft some lashings. Let's do that. We now have several more lashings. My hope is that that's enough. But we can start the raft now. Maybe. I don't know what the cooldown is on me being able to, like, eat more coconuts. But we learned that lesson the hard way. Kind of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. But I'm sure it'll be alright. We're gonna ride this thing out. The crippling powers of diarrhea will not stop us. A few more sticks over here. A few more sticks over here. There we go. Alright, sticks, come with me. Now that I have sticks, uh, I can make a campfire, a crude bow, a spear, a spear gun arrow... Kindling. I don't think that any of that sounds like what I want to do right now. Instead, what I would like to do is make a new raft. So, like, let's make a... Oh, really? It takes 14 of them. Okay, so you got to be kind of, like, squared away when it comes to the sticks in order to make the raft base. you got to have, like, a bunch of sticks. All right. Well, there's 12. Not corrugated scrap. How hard is it to make a corrugated, sca uh, corrugated scrap base? How hard is that? Can I do that? I can't do that. That's probably for building then. Alright. Well. A clay water bottle, an aloe salve, an antidote, a breath boost, shark repellent. We can make bandages. I don't think bandages are going to be immediately helpful. Yeah, just 
drop those all on the ground right there. That's okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to go to a different island is what I think we're going to have to do. Like, our hydration's only going to hold out for a little while longer. So, like, maybe if we're lucky... Do I have any more, like, little thingies over here? Here, just take these, drop those all on the ground. Take the lashings, and we can kind of throw those all on the ground, too. The coconut flask, you have been monumentally unhelpful, coconut flask. So you just hang on on the ground and think about what you've done to make my life difficult, all right? You think about it hard, coconut flask. You think about it hard. Well, let's go back to our raft, and maybe we'll go out to that island over there. Do 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 do. Ooh, ah, the coconut, it's all we need. Is that a lionfish over there? Yeah, don't get near that. That's a mistake. Lionfish needs to be by himself. Lionfish is a a problem. All right. We haven't been to that island over there. Maybe we'll go to that island. Sailing away on an ocean so blue, gonna die of thirst and I don't know what to do. Cause I got diarrhea from the coconut. Well, hopefully this island offers us opportunities in order to make ourselves a little bit safer. I'm gonna eat one of my rations and hopefully maybe that'll increase my... I'm hoping that eating a ration will maybe increase the amount of thirst that I have. Like maybe it'll fix us up. I don't know. I'm trying to put a gap in between me and coconuts right now because me and coconuts aren't exactly on speaking terms. We're definitely on bowel movement terms. Like, uh, the coconut has seen parts of me that, well, I had hoped nothing would ever see, frankly, except for maybe a surgeon trying to save my life. This place has, like, a giant dong stone on it. Okay. We can go out to the Isle of the Dong Stone. Maybe we can make, like, a bow or something we can hunt with or, like, kill a creature over here or something. I need a tarp is what I really need so that I can make a water still and we can start, like, hydrating ourselves and... You know, maybe get to the bottom of this whole thirst issue. The boat over there, I'll probably just like moor this guy like right over... Right over here possibly? It looks like it's getting a little shallow. Can we see the bottom? I don't know if we can see the bottom. Can I deploy the baffle right here? I can, okay. So I'm gonna put the paddle clip. Oh, that's a shark. Well, that's not good. He's kind of, like, closer than I'm comfortable with. Shark, can we not do this right now, bud? Can we, like, not do this right now? Like, I'm, la I'm not looking for the full Australian experience right now. I'll be honest with you. I just wanted to dabble in Australianism. Uh, I'm going to get up on this rock and... Wasn't there a movie about this? Like a girl that's trapped on top of a rock and there's like a shark that's swimming around and then she like blows it up with some dynamite or something? I think there was a movie about this. Oh, dude. It's go time! Ah, to the shallows! Sharky, no! Leave me alone, Sharky. I don't love you. I don't love you, Sharky. I don't want to be friends. Oh, I like this island. This island's got a nice layout to it. I like this island. Maybe we'll find some fruit or something we can eat over here and not die horribly. Are these fruit trees? What kind of trees are these? They're pine trees? What are pine trees doing in the middle of the tropics? What? What? There's no mango trees around here, are there? I don't think there's any mango tree. Oh, that's a snake. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Where is the snake at? Oh, he's right there. There he is. I see him. Okay, he almost got me. He almost got me there, snake. He almost got me there. He almost got me. Not quite, though. Better luck next time. Uh, well, time to ride the coconut pony again. Here we go. God, this is a mistake. I'm going to die. I am going to die out here, and it's going to be the worst. I'm just going to die in this snake-infested hell. There's a lot of yucca here, though. Might be able to use that. That's the whole island, huh? Underwhelming. Underwhelming, to say the least. All right, let's do this thing.
All right, three bars. We're okay for right now. Maybe I'll like eat fish tonight or something. How hard was it to make a fishing spear over here? Make a fishing spear, I just need a stick? Oh, that's easy, dude. We can do that like right now. There's a stick right here. Look at that stick. Fishing spear. All right, so now we have a fishing spear. Hopefully it's good enough. Fishies, come here. Yeah, come here, little buddy. Yeah, you come with me. And like you, yep, there we go. There we go. And I missed. Well, there we go, I got that one. Uh, we got a bunch of sardines. I, I don't think that that's going to be enough to really slake the problem that we're currently running into, but should be good enough, I suppose. I wonder if I can spear the snake. I'm going to try and spear the snake. Hold on. We're going to kill this snake over here. I don't feel comfortable in a world where snakes exist. So join me. Join me, chat. It's time for the great snake hunt. Potatoes? Oh. Where'd he go? Snake? You over here? I mean you no harm, snake. I promise. I'm not going to do anything untoward. Well, that was a marked failure. I can't see him. Well, I mean, no, 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 no. Oh, there he is. As I think he's angry at us. Damn, dude, how many spears does it take to kill a snake? Oh, he's so mad. Oh, no, 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 no. At least he's well marked now. Like, we can tell where he is. <laughs> he's got a bunch of big cabers sticking out of the top of his head. So that's good. We got any more sticks around here? I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep chucking. I'm going to keep throwing spears at him, all right? Like, he's going to keep getting hit with spears until morale improves. Sticks? Anywhere? Sticks? Want to come with me? There's one. How many spears does it take to murder a snake? We're doing the science right now. This is like an episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy with Splattercat. How many snakes and how many spears? Uh, yeah, make a crude spear right there. That's even better. Maybe that'll maybe that'll work more better. There we go. Pick that up too. I missed. Is he dead? I don't think we killed him. He's so violent and angry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about this. It's terrible. Oh, I think he's dead. I think we killed him. I am man, and I the night snake. Can I skin him? Well, I mean, at least we've done the old uh, kill. Pa at least we've done the old St. Patrick thing, and we've cleared the island of snakes. So that's good. I mean, you got to look at the benefits of the situation. This is now a snakeless island, whereas before it was snake infested. So, like, I mean, I'm glad that we got a snake hunting and everything, but that took more effort than expected to kill a snake. Where's a shovel when you need one? Just smack the thing in the head. Is snake meat edible? We have one portion of the snake meat. We also have potatoes. Okay. Well, we've got some dirters and things to play around with. Let me grab the rest of this yucca over here. So we've got fish. We've got meat. I think now the task at hand is that we need to make ourselves a fire. Like, we must be man. And I am man. Therefore, I make fire. So, like, what happened here? Oh, I don't...
don't know which way we came from. Oh, there's a javelina over there. A little baby piggy. How hard is it to kill a baby piggy? I missed. Oh, my spear broke. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Oh, there's another snake, too. It's like snakes everywhere. I don't think that crude spears are going to be enough to kill a javelina. I think I may have miscalculated. I guess I will take my mandatory allotment of coconut dinner. And we will put our coconut dinner over here. And then we will smack coconut dinner. And hopefully not poop ourselves to death. Nice. Oh, we're recovering. We're doing a little bit better. I got to admit, it's getting better. It's getting better all the time. Wonder if I can just stab the pig. I don't know, but either way, we gotta like make a shelter over here so we can rest for the night. Um, I don't know which way is back home. So therein lies a problem. But I suppose we'll figure that out next time. My name is Splattercat. This is Stranded Deep. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for stopping on in and whatnot. It was a blast. I'll see y'all later. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.